So hi, what's up? It's your boy Sports Wizard and welcome back to another video on my channel. So today we're going to bring Djokovic versus Nishi Kori. You have to put the third round, so let's get right into it. My prediction Djokovic in first set score on 6-4-6-3-6-3 mode. Easy. So yeah, he should easily cruise through this one. And you guys might be like, bro, he dropped a set to what? What's that guy's name? Rune. He dropped a set to Rune. I mean, Djokovic usually starts off slow. So I, I think he can get through Nishi Kori. Maybe 6-4. 6 4 6 3 something like that though but i mean yeah you could say like he dropped his head against rune that makes sense but like he usually starts off slow so i think it can be niche going so it sets but anyway let's get into the end of this so Djokovic has 20 grand slams 85 titles he won out of the masters 1000 at least twice he won out of the grand slams at least twice he's currently number one in the world he's a good bit learner he has good grand strokes he has the best back end on tour arguably he has a good serve that's flat he's a good returner who's good he's good in the crucial moments he's good at coming back he's good at playing under pressure he's a good mover he can do both offense and defense he does not have a good smash his temper can cause problems and he maybe takes the ball a little too early he won Wimbledon five times the u.s open three times Australian open nine times and french open twice he won the olympic bronze medal and he has five atp finals wins whereas nishikori he won the Australian open rowing girls and Wimbledon quarterfinals. He went to the US Open final in 2014 and he lost to Chilich in three sets. Uh, he has 12 titles. He's number 56 in, in the world. His highest rank was number four in the world. He went to the tour final, semi final. He won also Olympic bronze like Djokovic. Uh, he has solid ground strokes. He's a baseliner. He hits winners. He has a flat back end. He's defensive. He wears out of the opponent. He has a decent serve. He has a good return. And he, made, and he takes the ball a little too early. And the hat to wear is 17 2 Djokovic. And on hard, it's 10 2 Djokovic. And then US Open, it's 1 all. So it's a tie in US Open. So I mean, you guys could see like that Nishikori does have some sim similarities in the game to Djokovic. Like, they have solid ground strokes you know they were turned well they take the ball a little too early like they both can play defensively so they have some similarities so anyway in the first set Djokovic will go aggressive he's gonna hit winners he's gonna hit aces he's gonna make Nishikori move around well Nishikori he won't really have a problem with uh, moving around to return Djokovic's balls but I just think it's like the power of Djokovic's balls because uh, Nishikori can reach them and I think Djokovic's balls are going to be so powerful that Nishikori can't play defense for too long whereas Nishikori I, he's going to also hit winners but it's going to be t like it's going to be like really hard for him to like like play defensive on Djokovic's balls because it's going to be so hard and Nishikori does have a good return so he can return some of Djokovic's serves but still i don't think he can return enough of their his Djokovic serves so eventually Djokovic will win the first set in the second set i think Djokovic will continue to do something you know make nishikori move around hit when i said aces you know like just keep rallying with nishikori whereas nishikori he's also going to hit winners but again like throughout the whole match it's going to be tough for him to play defensive and Djokovic is going to like he's not going to look to play defensive because he's not going to like let Nishikori like, go aggressive like he has to like he's gonna go aggressive throughout the whole match you know what I mean like he's gonna save his stamina and go aggressive throughout the whole match because like Nishikori is a quality player like and now he's not a great player but like he still can't afford to let a grand slam sadness like you know go aggressive so, so throughout the whole match Djokovic is gonna be the one that goes aggressive so it's gonna be tough for Nishikori to defend and like I said like Nishikori he's still gonna hit a couple of winners but I think like it's gonna be really tough for him to play defensive and and that might cause him to hit a few unforced errors here and there. So Djokovic will win the second set. In the third set, like, Nishikori is going to get tired of defending. So he's just going to hit unforced errors, you know. He can't, like, he, he's not going to able like be able to return Djokovic's balls. But Djokovic, he's just going to keep rallying when Nishikori to get, a, like, a really good spot to hit a winner. And he's just going to keep get hitting aces. So throughout the whole match, Djokovic will hit winners, hit aces, go powerful, like, um, be really aggressive. And he's going to make Nishikori move around. But Nishikori, he's going to hit. When I see, it's gonna be tough for him to play defensive and return Djokovic's balls. And I think, like, you know, he's gonna try to wear at Djokovic, but I think Djokovic is gonna have really good stamina. And, like, he's gonna try to return Djokovic's balls. Djokovic serves, but I think Djokovic serves, like, he's gonna also hit a lot of aces. So, nothing, like, at least in my opinion, I don't think anything is gonna really work for Nishikori. Unless, like, Nishikori, like, he, he doesn't let, if he doesn't let Djokovic take control, he has a chance, like, Immediately, if Nishikori starts going, like, aggressive, he'll have a chance. But 
even if he does that, he could probably only take one set. You know why? Because he's probably going to get tired of Joko, which is probably good. not going to get tired. So, like, regardless, I don't think the Shikori can really get more than a set. Even if he goes aggressive, it's probably going to, like, only last for a set. Then he'll probably get tired, and eventually Joko will just take control. So, yeah, guys, this is a prediction. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Guys, I'd really appreciate it if you guys like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. And I'll see you next time. Peace.